I'm standing next to the Infiniti EX Concept, and it's one of the few worldwide debuts at this auto show. This is going to be a brand new vehicle in the Infiniti lineup, and what it is is it's a smaller SUV than the current FX that they have. But like the FX, it's built on a rear drive platform. Underneath, this car is similar to the G35 sedan and coupe. That means it's fine handling, it's going to have very good steering, it's going to have a lot of balance to it. Under the hood is the 3.5 liter V6, probably making about 290 horsepower in this application. And it's not a gigantic uh, machine. It's intended to be a smaller, sportier crossover SUV. And in fact, it has a lot of wagon touches to it. It's not sky high. It's something I can actually see over. And it doesn't appeal to the guy who's going to be trekking through the mud. It's going to appeal to someone who wants an elegant machine that's got a good rear seat, some packaging efficiency, and still has great uh, driving performance. Now this is a concept, and it's dressed up a little bit. The wheels and tires are a little bit big. The interior is dressed up. These door handles aren't going to make it into production. But the basic look of this car is very close to this. And when it goes into production later on this year, it's going to be called the EX35. Now it's got some nice uh, touches to it. It's got this liquid crystal sunroof. And what this is is a sunroof that can be electronically controlled, so it's either more or less transparent or opaque. It's also got a uh, lane departure system that uh, is an advancement of the current lane departure warning system Infinity has. That system actually looks at the lines in between lanes and senses when you're about to leave your lane. Now the current system just kind of buzzes at you to get your attention when you're leaving the lane. This new system will actually steer the car back, not by changing the steering, but by pulsing the brakes on the, uh, in the direction you want the car to turn. So it'll help keep you in that lane. We'll have to see about how that feature works. We tend to like driving our cars ourselves, but there's a tendency to get more of these automated driving features in there, and we don't mind them as long as you can turn them off if you're a car and driver type of person. Now, I think this thing looks spectacular. It's exactly the type of machine we'd drive. We'd much rather get into one of these than a big hulking SUV, and we look forward to driving it when it goes on sale later on this year.